So going on from the heat treating that we did yesterday with the small map gas torture, it was really hard to get the steel up to an even temperature. Um, I'm showing the type of flame you should be looking for if you want to heat treat in a gas forge. It's a very slow, kind of lazy flame. Uh, it's kind of purplish on the outside of the forge. I'm running only a squeak of gas out of the regulator and my inspirator is necked right down to avoid any kind of scaling. So the blade's been in there for about 10 minutes or so. I brought it up to temperature very slowly. The inside of the forge doesn't have too much colour to it um, and there's no scale formed on the blade which is a good thing. So again I'm just going to test on my magnet. This is 1075 steel so magnet's a good way of working out if it's at the right temperature or not. Um, and then I'll do a normalisation because we've already heat treated this blade and we'll reset some of the grain structure there and start to neck it down and grain refine is the is the term people use. So you can see it's non-magnetic and I'm just going to let it cool down nice and easily. The colour's just about all gone now. That'll help reset some of the grains that might have grown when we were heat treating yesterday. Okay, so the blade is back in the forge again after normalising and once I get it up to a cherry red colour I'll start to test it with a magnet and then I'll go into the Horton's G quench, so a medium speed oil quench. So it's getting closer now to a nice even temperature which is what we're looking for. I'll begin to check with the magnet so we know we're at the right temperature. Just another quick test, make sure it's nice and evenly heated and into the oil. Here I've just given it an edge quench. I'll see what sort of hormone I can get out of the uh, 1075 just by quenching it this way. It's important to get the rest of the heat out of the, um, the blade after the initial cooling takes place to form that line. Beauty. Okay, so we're just going to test with our file. I've cleaned the outside of the steel off. So I've got a nice fresh surface to test on and it's just sliding over it like it's glass. I'll, um, I'll just compare it to the spine where we didn't quench it directly in. And you can really hear that's grabbing hold, much kind of lower tone. 